Smart Energy uh, is a Swiss-based uh, company uh, turning 10 years this year in October. Uh, we have been developing our activity in the renewable space, uh, primarily focus on uh, solar PV uh, and uh, onshore wind. Uh, one and a half years ago, the company also decided to move to the green hydrogen space, where we have become quite active. Uh, and where we have been as uh, hand in hand with all the other technologies, developing also our portfolio in the countries that we are seeing getting more traction, uh, mainly uh, aligned with our existing markets, which are Portugal, Spain, uh, Germany, and Italy, uh, running our business plan for the next five years, which uh, are each, which is based in three, uh, let's say, dimensions that uh, that uh, will will uh, will boost the, the the growth of the company. One is the geographical, where we are expanding also to new markets. The other one is the technology, where we are consolidating and uh, expanding further the green hydrogen efforts, but combining also with uh, with other pro pro projects that are. Uh, what the so-called new technologies, where we see also the, on the battery side, there is a way a lot of potential out there still to be to be to be explored, uh, and also uh, to 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 combine the decarbonization via electrification. We are also uh, working on projects for the synthetic fuels for aviation, um, where we see also a, a clear path. To, to, to help in this process of, of decarbonizing the economies. Also on, on, the, on, the, on uh, the third element is on the value chain. So the smart energy group has been as well um, um, extending is, uh, its business uh, in the value chain, meaning that we are also moving or we are also consolidating our activity on the asset management and slash ownership uh, together with the, with the energy trading where we see also uh, a very and, and key role uh, in order to maximize the value that we, we generate from our assets. I think it's a, a combination, as always, at least in my view, is a combination of, uh, of, uh, of uh, different, different, let's say, uh, perspectives that at the end all combined could, could lead us to the ultimate goal. Um, we, I see this in three main pillars, uh, being one, the electrification, that I, I see renewables playing uh, an important and, uh, and, and vital role in that, in that uh, axis, I would, let's say, of electrification. Uh, the energy efficiency uh, that could come also from uh, technology and implementation of new, uh, let's say, measures from the households, from, from the... the the, the, the people uh, at the end of the day, but combining this uh, adoption of new technologies or uh, measures that could improve the efficiencies of buildings is also shaping behavior. So uh, as simple as we become more and more aware of uh, how important it is to tackle uh, the climate changes that now is next knocking on our doors as we are seeing uh, recently with with a couple of events and i see this is the unfortunately uh, the way we are uh, we are seeing that people will only uh, some, uh, are able to 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 align and to support uh, the, the the tackle the fight against climate change when they see their lives heavily affected by by those changes or by those those events, uh, so I think the, the the energy efficiency needs always to to go hand in hand with with um, with with um, with the change of the consumption behaviors from 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 the populations, and then also as as we know the 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 decarbonization of the economy cannot be done only through the electrification uh, because we know that that only covers a part uh, so that needs to be combined also with uh, with uh, other kind of technologies such as the green hydrogen where we see uh, helping to uh, support mainly the sector that are hard to abate in terms of emissions that they they need to introduce 
uh, new, uh, let's say, feedstock for their uh, molecular processes, mainly related to the heat heating uh, industrial processes. And uh, we are seeing the green hydrogen also uh, uh, now coming into play. Mm -hmm.